Good morning, everyone. It is April 4th, and I'm going to do something today that I don't usually do this time of year, at least. Um, I'm going to be making up some nooks. I've got some hives here that are just bursting at the seams, and I'm a little worried that these hives may swarm on me if I don't do something with them quickly. It's too early in the season for them to swarm. I don't think they're going to swarm yet. Um, we haven't even had dandelions bloom out here yet. It's been uh, too cold. It's too, too early in the season, but we're probably only a couple of weeks away from dandelions. Um, and our season seems to be a little ahead of schedule this year. So I want to get on top of these before um, they decide they want to go into swarm mode. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to go in and um, pull some nukes out of some of these hives. I have some queens on order. I'm going to go pick them up tomorrow. And uh, then I'll bring those queens back and drop them in the nooks that I make up today. And hopefully those will be some really nice nooks for some people here in about three weeks. So that's the plan. Um, I, like I say, I don't usually make nooks this time of year. Um, but these hives are looking so good, I think I can pull um, a couple of frames of brood out of all of these, and I don't think they're going to miss a beat. And we still have probably six weeks before we really start getting some, some really good nectar starting to come in. So um, the nooks have plenty of time to build up in, those, in the next three or four weeks, and these hives have a, plenty of time to kind of uh, repopulate and and regain their their population in the next six weeks before we even really get into our honey flow. So I think I've got plenty of time. The weather's going to be um, fairly nice today, other than it's going to be a little windy this afternoon. Tomorrow is supposed to be quite windy, um, warm but windy, and then we're going to get a cold snap for a couple of days, and then I think we're finally going to kind of slide into some really nice spring days that are warm that'll that'll be really good for these nooks so i think what's going to happen if i get these queens tomorrow I'll drop them in the in these nooks tomorrow the wind's probably going to keep the bees in the nooks um, for a day and then it's going to cool off for a couple of days which is also going to keep them Kind of home and in the nooks and not not flying too much which is going to be good i think that'll help queen acceptance then they're going to get some really nice days and and be able to get out and fly so that's what we're going to do today i'll kind of show you what i'm i'm doing as i go along here but making some nooks today all right let me show you what i'm going to do here so i've got some pro nuke boxes here i really quite like these um they're just they're just great boxes and uh Gives the, the new beekeeper, you know, an extra box if they need to do something with a, with a swarm or make a quick split or something. They're just, they're just great to have around. So I like having them. So what I'm going to do is I've got one frame here that's a feed frame. It's got a little bit of food on it. I wish it had a little more, but um, it'll, be, it'll be good enough to get them kind of started. And then I'm going to put an empty foundation frame in. And then I'm going to go to my, my hives over here, and uh, I'm going to pull three frames out of each one of these hives. Um, two of them are going to be uh, brood frames, and one of them is going to be hopefully some pollen, some, hopefully there's a little bit of honey, and some open space for the queen to lay. So between the ones I pull out and this feed frame, they're not, they're, they've got food on them, but they've still got, they're not completely full. So the queen's got some space to lay on that one as well. Um, but I want to make sure she has plenty of space to lay and uh, not confine her once, once she gets released out of her cage. Frame of food, empty foundation, three frames from, from the donor hive and we'll put a lid on them and take them back to my house and then tomorrow we will drop a queen in them all right let me show you what's going on with this first hive this is a hive that i didn't i don't expect to split um but 
it's doing quite well. It's basically got two medium boxes of bees. And uh, the bottom box, which is that one, I've pulled off. And I'm going to peek through it just a little bit and see if there's any comb in here that I just don't, I don't want to keep. I'm going to put it back on top of this one. That's basically a box reversal, and that'll it's it's got a little bit of stores in it, so that'll give them space to expand that brood nest and keep going. But this hive is just about where I want it to be. Um, the rest of these hives, I think, are going to be a little bigger than this, but just so you see what that one's look looks like, I'm not going to be splitting out of it. So this is what most of my hives look like. Um, this is the top box, and it's not quite completely full, but it's pretty close. This is the second box down, and it's full of bees. And I just peeked at the one underneath, and it's full of bees. So I really have three boxes of bees here, so these guys can stand to lose a couple of frames of, of brood and bees, and in a month they'll be right back and looking really good for for the nectar flow so i'm going to pull out um, i'm going to go through i've got to watch for the queen so i don't pull my queen um, that's kind of the problem with doing this but um, we'll have to make sure we don't pull the queen and uh, then i'll pull them over and we'll uh, we'll get them dropped into some of these nooks here okay so let's see if we can gently pull a few frames out without disrupting them too much. I don't want to smoke too much because I don't want to run my queen all over the place. But let's see if we can... I like to pull the feeder out. It gives me that extra room I need without disturbing bees too much. I can see this frame is all feed. This one's all honey. And this frame should be getting over more into the brood area. There we go. There's a nice frame of capped brood. It's got capped brood here, pollen all the way around. Pretty good frame of bees. Let's look for my queen. Same on this side, some good capped brood. Not seeing my queen. Some larvae down in there, but not mostly, almost all capped brood. So I don't see my queen. I think we'll pull this frame. That's a decent, a decent frame. I've got several feed frames here that are better than what I've planned on using. So I'm gonna, I'm gonna steal a little bit from this hive. There's another good capped brood. Some of those bees are starting to emerge. I can see quite a few young bees on this frame. So this is nice, good, solid pattern for good pattern. Beautiful. So this is a great frame to put in a nook. It's got pollen around. It's got pollen around the edges. Mostly cap brood. Just double checking to make sure we don't pull her. So there's two pretty good frames of bees. I'm gonna go back to this frame right here. It's got better, better stores on it than, yeah, some good pollen. So there's a food frame for them. Now what they need is an open frame for the queen to lay on and probably a couple of shakes of bees out of this hive as well. Here's my queen right here. She has, I don't know if you can see that, she has a yellow dot on her. So she's a two-year-old queen see if we can get her there. That's a two-year-old queen. Still doing well, but she'll get replaced this year. Beautiful. Now I know where my queen's at. Not in any risk of 
pulling her out. I do want a couple of shakes of bees off of this to add to this snook. So here's a good frame. I'm going to shake them in. There's one good shake of bees. One more good shake of bees wouldn't, wouldn't hurt. All right, so I've pulled three frames of, of bees and brood out of that. I need to replace some of that comb. I'm going to give them a couple of frames down here to... Oh, to work on. Flip that around. And I'm really liking this frame of honey and I can... it's just completely full better than some of the frames that I've had here. And I'm looking at the hive that I, at this hive over here, and it didn't have much in it, so we're going to steal from, we're going to steal our, empty drawn comb from here, perfect. Okay, so what I have here is an empty foundation frame, an empty drawn comb, a frame of feed, and two frames of bees and brood. Um, they could probably use one more shake of bees on there, but other than that, that's that's going to be my nook. Um, most of those, uh, that brood is just emerging brood, so they're going to be young nurse bees, and they're going to repopulate that really pretty quickly. And they really have a month um, before these are going to be ready to go, so these should be should be really pretty good. Okay, I've got through these nine hives here and I've made ten splits off of them. They are still um, just, some of these hives are still just a booming. I created a bit of a frenzy out here and I knew I would with trying to make up nooks in this yard. Just so many bees and there's just, there's nothing um, coming in yet so anything they can smell that smells like honey they're going to go after so these feed frames that i've been putting in my nooks the bees were just all over them and i ex kind of expected that but it was a little bit crazy there for a little bit it's calmed down now it's not too bad so i'm going to get these loaded up i've got two more in another yard that i'm going to hurry and go make two more and then we'll get these nooks transferred to my house and uh get them set out open the doors for them so they can they can start to fly and uh, we'll put queens in them tomorrow well I finally got all of my nooks put together and got them brought back to the house um, the wind started to pick up and blow which is what the weatherman says it's gonna do really bad from tonight and all day tomorrow it's supposed to be pretty windy and uh, but I did get my bees get my nooks all put together walk out here and they're still flying in this wind believe it or not kind of disoriented so here they are they are out here flying even in this wind and they're not they weren't too happy with me by the time I got done and got them situated but I've got 12 nooks out here um, Hopefully they'll settle in a little bit. They're probably not real happy. They don't have queens. I'll go pick up the queen tomorrow. And hopefully I can get home in time tomorrow to drop the queens in these. And then they'll, they'll all settle down. Until then they're going to be a little bit riled up. So 
but I did get them made and uh, my hives are looking really good some of them may be too good if that's a possibility I'm not used I'm not used to seeing hives look um, like they do at this time of the year um, in another three weeks I'm used to that but it's just so early we haven't had um, we've had some things are are starting to bloom some of the trees and we're getting pollen coming in but um, we haven't even had dandelions bloom yet so it's really really early and to have hives that look just absolutely amazing just boiling with bees um, is a little bit um, new for me I mean I have hives I've always had hives that um, look really good but these are just boiling with bees I'm I'm surprised how many bees are in some of these boxes already and they're raising brood right and left and just it's it's gonna be it's gonna be a, a fight to um, keep them from swarming so what I did today was um, pull these nukes out of them that'll knock a few of them back and I reversed hive bodies and that doesn't stop swarming but it maybe slows it down just a little bit so um, took the bottom box and put it on the top and that bottom box is mostly empty so um, by putting it up on top it makes those bees feel like they've got more room and they're not plugged out and uh, hopefully that's enough to get them to get them maybe just not thinking about swarming quite yet not sure why they're they're as big and as just ready to go as they are but they look really good um, but we're a month away probably from getting real good nectar flows even even starting so I've got to keep them in the box for the next little while and um, some of them are gonna burn through stores really quickly so I'm gonna have to watch stores on them and make sure they don't starve themselves out but it's it's fun to get back in the bees and finally have some weather that we can I can dig down into the hives and see what's really going on down there um, like I say I'm I'm seeing drone um, cap drone brood but and I saw a couple of drones today but um, for the most part the drones aren't here yet um, so we're still another couple of weeks before these hives are even going to want to swarm, um, hopefully. But all in all, pretty good day. I'm excited to get those nooks made up, and hopefully tomorrow we can have some queens and get some queens put in them.